Hi everyone. When you need to analyze data in Excel, I am sure you don't always get data that's organized in the right shape and format. So you spend a lot of time working on your data. If you need to make use of the tools like pivot tables, charts, filtering, even data modeling in Excel, data must be in the right shape and format. I'm going to use Power Query in Excel and show you three examples on how you can easily transform and organize your data into proper data set, even without using complicated formulas. Not only that, these transformations are done only once. Then it becomes an automation for future. Welcome to Excel Fort. My name is Faumi. This is the first video of the series how to be super productive in Excel and Power Query. If you like to receive notifications for my future videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. In our first example, we are looking at some sample data here. We have the sales amount by product and year. The products are okay, they are in one column, fine, but the years are in column headings. These years are supposed to be in a single field called year. And these sales amount are in another column called, let's say, sales amount. So what we need is we need a three column table. As you look at this data set, you might tempt to use the transpose function. It will not give you the result that you are expecting. So let me try to use it. Copy this data and let me paste special and transpose. This is not what we want. Let me delete it. So we need to unpivot this data so that it will have three columns. The data you see on the right side has been transformed from this unorganized data to organized tabular and normalized data. If you ask me what's wrong with this data here, you are not able to create pivot table and do your analysis in the right way. Let me try and create one. Insert pivot table. I'll put it in a new sheet. As you can see, we have one field for product and there is no field for year. Each year is under each field and uh, there is no field for the sales amount. How do you do such transformation? In Microsoft Excel 2016, you have under data ribbon, get and transform data section. Since our data is in this worksheet, you can use from table or range option to get the data into Power Query. If you are using Microsoft Excel 2010 or 13, you will not have this option get and transform data under data tab. Uh, there is an add-in that you need to install. I have given that link in the description below. You can use that link and install it. Well, so the first thing that the Power Query does is it will convert this data into a table and load it into Power Query. Let me just go and click on from table or range. Yes, my data table has headers. Let me click OK. Our data has been loaded into a window called Power Query Editor. So it's taking a copy of the data that we have. Any modification that we do, any changes that we do here is not going to affect the data that is in the worksheet. Okay. So now you can do your transformations, right? Let me maximize the Power Query window. If you want to zoom in or out on the Power Query editor, you can do it so by using the shortcut key Control Shift and plus to zoom in and Control Shift minus to zoom out. Let me keep it at this level. Great, fine. What we need to do here is uh, to unpivot our data. So first let me select 2015, press shift and click on 2018. There are two places where you can find this command to unpivot. One is you can go to the transform tab and you find unpivot columns. This is one. The, the other one is you can right click on any selected column and choose unpivot. So let me use this option here, unpivot columns. As you can see, the data has been transformed and unpivoted into three columns now. 
so we have the product we have the year and the sales amount so we can rename this to year and the last column to sales let's see if we want to make any changes to the data types product is text year is text sales is whole number if you want to make any changes to any of the data types in these columns you can just click on this icon and choose the data type you want now let's uh, rename this query to something meaningful so let's make it sample fine so the final thing we need to do is to load this data onto one of the sheets in our workbook so to do so you can go to the home tab there are two options close and load to and close and load so since this is the first time we are loading this we'll choose the second option close and load to so which gives us an option either to load this as a table onto a new sheet or to a pivot table directly you can create a pivot table from this data connection or just a connection which you can use it for data modeling let's choose table and new worksheet and click ok we just transform our data into a proper tabular layout within a few clicks I'm going to show you one more feature here let me go back to our data that we had let's say you get new data for 2019 and 20 let's add them let me copy 2018 data and paste on to 2019 and 20 also let's say we added more item let's call it uh, wheels 2 add some amount right the only thing you need to do is to go back to your data over here the output and refresh it for refreshing data there are three places you can do it one option is to right click on the data and press refresh or you can go over to the data tab here yeah, and click on refresh button you can see on the right side you have the data query connection pan where you have a button here to click to refresh the data let's click on that 93 rows are there currently let's see if new data get added yes now we have 141 rows including the new columns that we added so let me come here and check yes we have data for 2020 and the newly added item also right here at the end yes good one other thing you would have noticed um, in this data set you don't find any blank or zero value here though you found it in your original data set there are some cells with zero or blank blanks value actually what parkour did it automatically removed them great now with this layout you are able to create pivot table or do analysis let's create a pivot table and let's put it in the existing sheet now you can do your analysis as you wish it's pretty easy if you want to watch the other two parts of this video please click on these video links I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.